Hey guys, this is Alex and Automotive and more and today I wanted to have a uh, just a quick little conversation slash rant about some of the things coming up. So as you guys probably know, uh, Demon Works, uh, Greg Nelson posted a great video of uh, the new intercooler ex heat exchanger that PPE is uh, coming out with. This is the original one guys, so this is definitely not it. So this is the OEM one. So one of the things that uh, PPE is doing is a larger intercooler, larger uh, heat exchanger for the intercooler um, that cools the fluid, that cools the air to your intercooler. So being a larger capacity cooler, uh, it gives you more surface areas to cool the fluid and also gives you more fluid to uh, make it less likely for everything to want to warm up. So plus signs on everything the only thing that ppe is definitely missing and a lot of the aftermarket companies are missing um is the let's see these little slats here so these are the active grill shutters you have active grill shutters for uh the radiator and the heat exchanger on the intercooler as you guys can see there i removed uh, four of the lower ones that way there's uninterrupted air flow from the street going into it. I've also removed a crap ton. Um, I don't know if the camera is going to focus for the radiator. Part of the reason is better cooling for the radiator, uh, better cooling for the transmission cooler. And also that lets your scoop work correctly because it's un uninterrupted uh, ram air going into your still in air scoop, which feeds down there to your uh intake you can also get some of that effect i haven't done it yet but if you shave this down here uh it also flows air straight down into this same area and it gives you a ram air effect that gives you positive pressure in this cavity which also helps get more air ambient temperature into your intake um so the point of this video is, guys, um, if your active grill shutters are closed, either the vehicle is not in an extreme uh, environment, your AC is not on um, at full blast. Sorry, actually my central AC just kicked in there. Um, or any of the conditions, you know, warm up or all, all that stuff that the vehicle will command the active grill shutters to either be partially closed or fully closed you know at highway speeds it doesn't matter how big your intercooler is or how much rim air scoop you have for example you're just not getting that extra airflow if those active grill shutters are closed um so what the aftermarket needs to do is definitely come up with a solution. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of the aftermarket for other brands do dummy plugs, where you would plug uh, a dummy end to the to the connector for the active grill shutter, and it will trick the system into thinking that the active grill shutters are still working. Um, and you will get no DTCs for removing all the blades. Um, on GMs, unfortunately, they're not as as easy as Ford's uh, if you start removing all the blades and it doesn't get the um, the range of motion throughout the system then it throws a fault which kind of sucks because on Ford's they just give command them you know open or close you can remove all of them and the system doesn't care there's no DTC or anything like that so yay Ford for that sucks for us uh, on the GM side that we have to at least leave two, one or two. I think I ha only have two blades. And sorry guys, I don't think my camera is gonna focus on the blades there, but there's almost no blades left there. You can see the radiator, um, and you can kind of see through here. There's nothing obstructing the airflow on that. So that leaves the transmission cooler to get full blast of air when I do put the aftermarket PPE transmission cooler which will be very soon um, it's gonna be able to perform at its absolute best my inner cooler is you know always getting a full blast of air all the time and no issues there that's definitely what you want especially if you're paying big money for an aftermarket cooler 
if you're buying an aftermarket uh, heat exchanger and you're not doing this you're only doing part of the battle uh, you're gonna get a half-ass result especially when the vehicle is in a part load and not you know in an extreme environment of course can you get good results with a bigger cooler um, in an extreme towing uh, situation oh, yeah I mean if you have the AC on or you know the vehicle is a full load and doing its max uh, max effort the the vents will be commanded on but if you're just chilling part throttle uh, cruising on the highway and the vehicle wants to get the best fuel economy possible the vehicle is going to command those shutters to partially close and you will not get the full effect of having a larger intercooler or a larger transmission uh, cooler or a larger um, scoop to get air into the engine. All those things get uh, reduced if the active grill shutters are blocking the airflow to them. So obviously if you are doing some of these mods, uh, you are looking for performance, not fuel economy. Um, the reason that active grill shutters are there are for aerodynamics, fuel economy, a little bit of a faster warm up. Not that much of a faster warm up. Remember, your thermostat is what really dictates how fast you warm up, but it helps maintain the fluid in the radiators a little bit warmer um, if you're in an extremely cold environment. Um, this is the same thing too. Too cold of air makes denser air. Uh, denser air does require a little bit more fuel. That is more power for us, but a little bit less fuel economy. I'll take the, the power over the fuel economy. These trucks already do a pretty good job with fuel economy, so I can sacrifice on that. Me personally, this is not you know uh, advice for you guys. This is just my opinion, my thoughts from my experience and what I've experimented on my truck, uh, which apparently can be a little bit controversial depending on, on who you guys talk to. So without making this vent session too much what are your thoughts uh, should there be more aftermarket companies coming out with uh, active grill shutter solutions like the other brands do or do you want to do like the same thing that I did with the free 99 modification of removing most of the the active grill shut shutter slats yourself or do you just want to leave it stock and uh, sacrifice some performance just to keep the vehicle um, working as designed by the manufacturer. Uh, in my opinion, the manufacturer leaves a lot to be desired, so I rather do my modif modifications. Of course, I'm not no engineer, so I can't build every single part um, like that. I do believe a addictive desert design has a bracket that eliminates this uh, whole system out of there, but it just has a bracket for the motor to go through its uh, range of motion without setting a DTC um, so and I do know of somebody else that is working on something similar the reason is for aftermarket bumpers you do not want the active grow shutters either way so they had to come up with other solutions to get rid of them um, but yeah those are my thoughts if you guys uh, have a different opinion or or agree with me please let me know down in the comments you guys want more content i definitely definitely have some stuff um on the way for this truck here in the near future but uh yeah let me know what you guys thoughts on this uh, little rant is thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe